Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. As God is love, he is also the truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. About himself the Lord said, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He who adheres to the truth, he adheres to God himself. He who keeps away from the truth, keeps away from God. Therefore, we say of the faithful that he is a truthful person. He knows the truth, goes in the way of the truth, says the truth, and accepts nothing but the truth. For the sake of truth, he fears no blame. He says the truth, whatever the consequences are to him, as it happened to John the Baptist, who said the truth and paid the price. The truthful person says the truth even against himself or his dearest ones. He does not treat anything with partiality. God sent the prophets to witness for the truth in the world where evil prevailed among people. He also sent the shepherds, priests and teachers to witness for the truth. Judiciary on earth was set to witness for the truth. The faculty of law is named in Arabic faculty of rights because the word right is more effective than the word law. How nice is the Bible saying about judgment in truth. Even in the normal dealings among people, it said, He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Look at yourself. Are you always with the truth? Ask yourself this question. Are all your words true and sincere? whether in what you utter or in what you want your listener to understand? Do you favor any of your friends, relatives or beloved ones, and for his sake you do not mind telling the news in a way which is good to him, even if it hurts the others? Do you follow the truth in your practical life, principles and beliefs, and not only in your talks? Do you take the right of others from yourself to give it to them? Is the truth lost in your exaggerations, jokes and justifications? So remember, we are children of the Father of truths and not of lies. So always say the truth no matter what the consequences are. Stay with us and listen to the following poem. The way, the truth, and the life. As Christians, we're disciples of Jesus. We should share his message of hope. For those who are lost and without it, life is a continuous uphill slope. They might be suffering an illness or have sinful habits they cannot break. They might be experiencing depression or they're lonely with hearts that ache. Many feel they have no future, and it's hard to face life's daily strife. So share with them Jesus' message, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus would have shown compassion. They'd know he'd heard their cries. He would have lovingly reached out to them with love shining in his eyes. They'd know that someone cared for them one who was concerned about their plight. They could face the brighter tomorrow, for with Jesus, dark is as light. Since we are children of the living God, we should strive to be more like his Son. We should care about our fellow man and share God's love with everyone. We can tell others how Jesus saved us and how for all he laid down his life. We can tell them about his gift of grace, for he is the way, the truth, and the life. Do you always say the truth? Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, Father in heaven, you made me your child and called me to walk in the light of Christ. Free me from darkness and keep me in the light of your truth. 
The light of Jesus has scattered the darkness of hatred and sin. Call to that light, I ask for your guidance. From my life in your truth, my heart in your love, through the Holy Eucharist, give me the power of your grace, that I may walk in the light of Jesus and serve him faithfully. Amen.